Let me show you how we can go through the initial configuration on a Nothing Phone 3. So once you turn on your phone, you will see this hello message. Of course, you can change the language over here if needed. Or you can uh, also go to uh, vision settings. And we also have the emergency uh, call if needed. So let's proceed by pressing this big arrow. Now, since I have two SIM cards inserted into the phone, I have to choose um, the preference of SIM. So first we have mobile data, then we have calls, and then the messaging preference. After that, you will see this menu where we can set up our phone pretty quickly by using another device. So if you want to pretty much skip most of the initial configuration, uh, you can just simply uh, use another device by choosing one of these options. If you want to perform a clean setup, then we can just press skip over here. Next, we can connect to Wi-Fi. So uh, try to find your Wi-Fi network over here on this list. Then you can uh, select it and enter the password. You can also press over here to see all Wi-Fi networks. You can also set up offline over here, or you can decide to use mobile network instead. So I'm just going to quickly uh, sign into my Wi-Fi network. And after that, you should move to another screen where we need to wait a couple of seconds to let the phone uh, be ready for next steps. After that, you should be able to see the Google sign in page so you can use your email or phone number in order to sign in. You can also create a new account in case you need that. And of course, you can also just skip this process if you don't want to log into your Google account yet. If you decide to sign in, you need to agree to Google Terms of Service. So let's press I agree and then wait for the next screen. Now we have to set up, well, we don't have to, but we have an option to set up the screen lock password. So you can set up a pin code. You can also tap on screen lock options in order to choose a different type of password. And you can also skip this process for now by pressing skip over here. Of course, uh, you can uh, set up the password later. Then we have the option that allows us to copy apps and data from our previous device. Um, or you can also use a backup uh, of from your Google account. So if you proceed by pressing next, then you should be able to uh, find a backup over here and then choose it. You can just press don't copy if you want to perform a clean setup. Then we have the Google services. So we can toggle location. We can allow scanning of Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. I actually recommend turning this option off. Then we have send usage and diagnostic data. And then if you scroll all the way down, we have accept in the bottom right corner. And then you can also enable Google backups. So you can back up uh, photos and videos and other device data that is listed over here in the description. You can also choose if you don't want to back up something. And you can then press turn on backup. If you don't want to create a backup, if you don't want to uh, use backup, um, then of course we can press on backup. Then we need to choose the default browser and search engine. So let's proceed by pressing next. First, we have the select selection of a browser. If you don't know which one to choose, most likely you want to choose uh, Google Chrome. This is the pretty much a basic choice, the most popular one uh, among other uh, browsers. You can also use, for example, the Firefox browser or the Opera browser, Microsoft Edge, and so on and so forth. You pretty much will be good with every choice from here. And yeah, then we can proceed. So let's press it as default. Then we have the search engine. So most likely you want to choose Google over here and then press set as default. Now we can continue setting up the phone or you can just leave and later on get a notification that you can still finish up the notification. Uh, of course, I'm gonna continue just to show you what we can find further. So here we have quick settings so we can scroll all the way down and press I agree. Then we have Gemini, so we can press continue. And then uh, we have the Google, Hey Google voice command, which you can set up over here. So if you want to use it, you can just press turn on and then follow the instructions, or you just press no thanks in order to proceed. You can also set up Google Pay immediately over here. If you want to, you can add your uh, credit or debit card. In my case, I'm just gonna skip that. And then we have some additional options that you can go through, like um, you can add another email account, uh, you can uh, change uh, text size, change the wallpaper, and so on and so forth. But I don't want to do any of these things right now. Of course, later on in the settings of the phone, you can still perform these things. So we can just press no thanks. And then soon after that, we should be able to proceed. All right, so now we have terms and conditions of nothing OS. 
or nothings company. Let's press agree. Then we have the user experience program, system stability program, and nothing notifications, which you can toggle as you wish. And then we have the introduction of the glyph matrix, which is of course uh, this um, this uh, display over here in the top right corner. Uh, we can proceed by pressing next in order to um, find out what we can do with it, what the glyph matrix does. Then we have the essential key, which is located over here on the right side below the power button. And then we have the information of what we can find on Nothing OS 3.0. I believe we actually have an update to 3.5. So once we are done with the setup, most likely we should have an update to 3.5 actually. But you can scroll through these options in order to find out what you can do. Let's proceed by pressing next. We have our visual style. Uh, so you can either choose the default Android style or you can uh, stay with the Nothings visual style, uh, which is more monochromatic. I'm going to actually choose the Nothing one and let's press finish setup. And there we go, we are finally in the home screen. You can start doing whatever you want to do with your smartphone. And that's all. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe.